8 o'clock on today, coming up, breaking overnight, at least four people are dead, including a child, after a gunman opened fire at a California office complex. This morning, the suspect in critical condition as the country mourns a third mass shooting in less than three months, rolling up their sleeves, how the past hometown church have made it their mission to get more African Americans vaccinated. You got both your shots, you had your, your picture taken, you did it publicly. Why was that so important? Well, I believe this. One cannot leave where they are not going. Just ahead, there are And a special talent we just learned about. Then Papa Lakshmi will join us ahead of the new season of Top Chef with a delicious dish your whole family will love. Today, Thursday, April 1st, 2021. Hi, this is the Clark Valley, the beautiful downtown Stockholm Manor in Stockholm. Here to celebrate this guy, 23rd, 12th birthday. We love you guys! My name is Al, and for my 12th birthday, I got to shake Al Roker's hand on the plaza. I just turned 25. And we're still watching today. Hi, we're the Bossios. that you're with us uh, on this morning. Yeah, we want to mention that tomorrow is World Autism Awareness Day. Craig, you're working on a special yeah. story for that. SGA, you got the chance. A few weeks ago, to visit a nonprofit in New Jersey. It's called Popcorn for the People, and they provide really meaningful employment to people on the autism spectrum. Is there a fine group of jobs who started a popcorn company and hired a bunch of other jobs and turned into quite the thing, and I really can't wait for you to meet tomorrow right now. Oh, of course, I'm just smiling. It looks yeah. like a good story. Well, I just with our news at 8, guys. Uh, we begin with that mass shooting in Southern California. Four people, including a child, were killed after a gunman opened fire at a business complex in Orange County. NBC Steve Patterson. Is this morning, we're learning more about that cargo ship disaster in the Suez Canal that disrupted global trade for more than a week. Investigators have now boarded the ship, the Ever Given, to begin examining the captain's actions and question the crew. Today's senior international correspondent, Chris Simmons, is on the story again for us. Chris, good morning. Thanks, Monica Evans, operator, telling NBC News that the crew are well and in good spirits, and they remain on board, assisting the investigation, while the ship continues to be inspected. Investigators are checking the equipment and machinery and will access the black box, just like with an airline. A DVR on board the Ever Given, recording every word said as it ran aground. A statement from the ship's insurer says initial inquiries found the vessel grounded due to strong wind on board. The Suez Canal chairman says the Ever Given is being held until a compensation deal is reached in the next few days. 